I'm here in Hyde Park, a historical area located a little south of downtown Chicago. I'm hanging out with second all-time leading rusher for the Chicago Bears, Matt Forte, today. Let's go. It's game time. Come along with us, cause we're on our way. Game time down, we're about to play. Hitting all the spots and there's plenty. We eat it all the way through the city. Chef, what are we cooking today? I think he might have a second career as a chef. Friends, a little fun to bring it back in. We're on the go and we're in the know. Cause it's game time dying. Game time dying. Game time dying. Let's do this. It's game time, baby. That's off the chain. How you doing, man? It's good, man. Good to see you, man. I know, I know. It's cold out here, man. Yeah, you got me out here in this cold <laughs> weather, man. Like, I'm done playing football in the, in the cold weather. But you can handle it, bro. I've seen you, you know. You don't wear no sleeves, nothing yeah. like that. Which, what's the significance of Hyde Park? Hyde Park is like the first place I dove into when I came to Chicago when I got drafted. Wow. Uh, you know, when we, we practice, we're way up in Lake Forest yeah. up north. But when I would come to the city, we come to Hyde Park and eat all the time. <laughs> Ten years in the NFL, man, you had a great career, brother. You know, most only spent about two or three years in the NFL. Yeah. What's something you accomplished, man, in the league that you're most proud of? The thing I'm most proud of, I would say, is the consistency. You, you're right on point. The average for an NFL career is three years, and for running backs, it's right. two. Yeah. So for me to play 10 years in the NFL and to be consistently at the top of my game is, it was a big accomplishment for me. There's not one specific thing or one game or one season. But, you know, made the Pro Bowl twice, which is cool. But also, not, you know, I'm being humble, but decent right. player. You're talking about being the second leading all-time rusher behind the late, great Walter Payton. How does that feel? It feels great. Like, even when I was playing, like, you know, I would break records and stuff, and they mention your name amongst Walter Payton and Gail Sayers and those type of running backs. And I'm like, man, this is early to be comparing me to those guys, but to be, you know, second leading rusher in, in Bears history and, and have my name amongst Walter Payton is, yeah. is amazing. I, I love what Walter Payton said. When you're good, you'll tell people about what you did. When you're great, they'll tell you. <laughs> Man, I appreciate you bringing me down here to Hyde Park. You hungry? I'm always hungry. Man, let's go get something to eat, man. You want some Jamaican food? Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's go to Jog Grill. Welcome to Jog Grill, man. Jamaican, real authentic restaurant on the south side. I mean, you've been in the city for 10 years. You know, tell me your love for the city now versus when you first came to Chicago. When I first came, I was just trying to, I uh, kept my head down, you know, trying to keep playing as long as I can. Then also just the fans. See, Bears fans are, they're your fans forever. You know, I played eight years here. And, you know, that means a lot, you know, yeah. that they respect that and that they appreciate, you know, all the hard work that was put out on the field. Explain to me your thought process when it came for you to hang up the cleats? I felt like if, if uh, health-wise, I was fine after 10 years, like I would continue to play. But if, when you played at a high level for so long, yeah. you want to continue that. And then when it starts to fall off, you don't want to go out there and make, you know, make a fool of yourself. So, um, yeah, I was blessed enough to be able to say, you know, I can retire on my own terms. <laughs> I do post-game analysis on a show that covers the Bears. So I'm actually right now currently taking acting classes. Oh, cool. And, um, you know, just to broaden my horizons, maybe I, you know, be on a TV show one day. So the next Denzel. 
<laughs> yeah. What's up? I don't know. The first thing I think of is, is training today. I'm sorry. You, you're good. Let me hear you. But King Kong and God. I can't curse. I can't curse. <laughs> That's all right. That's good stuff, man. <laughs> Most athletes have a passion away from the game. Tell me about yours. Number one would be working with my foundation, Orchard Forte Foundation, where we go in underprivileged and underserved communities and mentor a lot of young kids. And the way we do that, we, we emphasize education. We also give scholarships and benefits to underprivileged youth so that they can continue their education. You know, I think it's important to obviously use your brain. And um, a lot of these communities, they don't have the resources to give them that, that extra boost to put them in a position where, you know, they can go and create these good jobs or, or get these good jobs and, and make something of themselves. So I want to do that and impact the community in that way. That sounds like your foundation is so important to you as, mm -hmm. as well as your family. What's your vision for what's your forte, uh, yeah. for what's your forte foundation mm -hmm. maybe about five, 10 years down the road? Keep growing and mentor a lot of the youth in a way that we see them continue to grow, whether that be going to college, be you know, helping them with going to a trade school, just anything to keep them in a positive role in, in society. You know, being honest, they close a lot of schools yeah. in these, you know, different disenfranchised neighborhoods. If we create a, a, a facility there that has rehabilitation for younger people where they can get reintroduced into society, get them, give them a second chance after doing something bad. Most young people make mistakes and, you know, society kind of just does away with them, but it's not fair to them. So there's drug issues and mental issues, you know. You know, being on drugs is not a, a criminal problem. Right. It's a health issue. Right, sure. So if we can have, you know, help them to, you know, change their mental state, then I think they can be better citizens. The people want to know <laughs> something about Matt Forte. It's, it is a Sunday morning, 8.30, 9 a.m. The kickoff is at noon. What's your pregame meal? Usually something healthy. Eat a lot of carbs because you're going to be burning off so much. So you're eating spaghetti. You know, NFL game is long. You just finished playing the Green Bay Packers. You had about 200 yards rushing, yeah. four TDs. It's time to go celebrate. Yeah. Go on, where are you going to eat? I love uh, going to Sunda. You ever been to Sunda? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They have yeah, a yeah. Asian fusion type of food, and yeah. it's, it's really good. Oh, here comes the food. Whoa, 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 look at that. Oh, yeah. You know it's good when you start licking your fingers. I'm a gumbo guy, crawfish guy, seafood, try the lamb. I am self-proclaimed the fastest crawfish peeler in the South. Every time I've been tested, I've never lost. Get a ball. Look at that. Boom! There right it is. There. Right there. Out of your saute. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to put too much in there. Right. Let's see if he has the delicate. All right. Oh, right. There he is. It's perfect, Matt. Flip it yeah, well, you're going to flip it. Yeah, oh, yeah, boom. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. see? Yeah. He yeah. knows know how to handle himself yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. just he showing know, off now. He's, he's showing doing. off. He's showing yeah, off. Yeah, he's showing off. <laughs> All right. That's cool, Matt. That's good stuff. Yeah. I'm old school like my mom and dad. Dinner is supposed to be not ordering out, but you eat at the dinner table and you, you know, you have a conversation about how everybody's day went. I love doing that because it's really that family time, that bonding time that you get to spend all together. Yeah, this is the one on my, this is my fish. You know, yeah. that's mass fish right there. What do we got here? Oh yeah, oxtails. Oh, oh my goodness. Don't forgot the sauce. Absolutely. Don't forgot the sauce. Sauce, sauce is, is the boss. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Chef. Appreciate it, man. Good cool. Appreciate it. I think he might have a second career as a chef. But the spiciness is it's not for the faint of heart right here. No, it's not. That's really good though. I think I'm sweating. <laughs> that sauce? <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm looking at this. Uh, Oxtails, right? Oxtails, oxtails. Yeah, yeah. Let's try that, man. Oh, man. We good? He's smelling. Yeah. Mar <laughs> marinated to perfection. It's tender. It's charred. It's not overdone. It's an amazing piece of lamb. Yeah. 
Before we finish this meal, yeah. I got five questions to ask you. But this is rapid fire. <laughs> because the people want to know what Matt Forte thinks, all right? Okay, okay. All right, you ready? Ready. Jay-Z or Migos? Oh, Jay-Z. Dave Chappelle or Kevin Hart? Dave Chappelle, because he taught Kevin Hart. <laughs> Black Panther or Iron Man? Black Panther. Chicago-style hot dog or New York-style pizza? Chicago everything, man. There you go. All-time favorite movie? Predator. Predator. Yeah. There you go. Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> there is this Arnold. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Get to the jar grill. <laughs> if you want food, you want Jamaican authentic, get down to the jar grill. <laughs> if you don't, you're a girly man. He's, a, hey, he's, he's, he's coming for an acting job, y'all. I'm telling you, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming, hanging out with me, brother. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Appreciate we want to thank Jar Grill for having us here. Yeah. This is good. We're going to finish this, then we're going to get out. It's game time, baby. Mom is a master chef a master at Gumbo. Chef gumbo. So the next episode of Game Time Dine has to be in the house with my mom cooking uh, the gumbo. It's kind of hard because when you've had the best gumbo ever created mm -hmm. <laughs> by my mom, right. everybody else is hard to match up. Do you know what makes your mom's gumbo so special? Just the love 